our investment analyst Ibrahim Babalola from Afrinvest, who is here with us. You've listened to the Honorable Minister, mm -hmm. and as far as the laying the groundwork, as far as putting all hands on deck mm -hmm. to prepare this document, you convinced us what the Minister says that yes, there was enough consultation and getting all stakeholders on board. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. You know, the 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 Economic Recovery and Growth Plan is a very very robust um, document that captures the economic challenges of of the country with um, policy recommendations, of course. So uh, I believe that there must have been several, several um, discussions with key stakeholders in, in, in compiling, compiling that robust, robust plan, you know. Again, I don't think anybody will question the robustness of the plan, but the question particularly on, on, on the leaps of analysts, causes the question is, um, it's towards implementation of, of the plan. You so, know. so we agree that we have a document that was well put together, well consultation, uh, well consulted, and everybody think that yes, we have this 140 page document that we can work with. Yes, uh, we and, have, and that's, and that's it. We have a 140 page document that touches all the key areas of the economy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we do. We do have a fantastic document. Implementation is key in the discussions. I believe we will be asking questions of the honourable ministers concerning the implementation of this of this document. So, in terms of you analysts uh, mm -hmm. uh, having uh, talk among each other when all this process was going on mm -hmm. uh, in 2016, you believe that yes, uh, folks across board were, were concerned. It's very interesting to see that the National Assembly is on the same page mm -hmm. with the executive branch uh, on this particular one. Yes, you know, for for the to achieve this, um, to achieve, to achieve the, what what the document wants to achieve, it needs synergy between all the arms of all the arms of, of government. So, for um, the honourable uh, speak of the the Senate, the Senate President, to come on and say they are all on the same page in achieving uh, the, the 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 recommendations of this policy is is a, is a positive that, that's development. That's really interesting. Now, on Wednesday, Senator. Uh, Honorable Minister Udoma uh, says that President Buhari has approved the special agency unit to be created in the presidency to monitor the NERGP implementation, number one. And number two, as you can see there, remove all bottlenecks to the plan's implementation. So it's a twin pillar of how to implement it and remove all bottlenecks as far as this was concerned. Uh, Honorable Minister, that was part of your statement on Wednesday. So, the, the straights uh, from the barrel of the gun. Uh, what are the tasks before you, your ministry, which will be the secretariat of the NERGP right now? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, with regards to implementation, we spent a good deal of time thinking about implementation because we have had very good plans in the past but the problem has always been in implementation so we wanted to make sure that we get this particular one right so there are four steps that we are taking one is the one that you've uh, you indicated which is a special delivery unit which will be set up in the presidency uh, and we're in the process of doing it right now and the reason it's in the presidency is to give it the clout uh, to be able to uh, intervene and check all bottlenecks and remove such bottlenecks. So that is one. The second is that even as I speak, we are assembling a team of experts who are going to work with officials of my ministry together with other MDAs to chart out a more detailed roadmap because we need a detailed implementation roadmap with detailed costings with kpis and so on it's also going to further elaborate on the financing requirements the financial plan underpinning the 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 plan so that is the second the third is that we are creating task forces which have already started task forces to focus on the various execution priorities. As you know, you have agriculture as an execution priority. We have transportation as an execution priority. We have power, energy, including power and petroleum as an execution priority. We have industrialization as an execution priority. So we're going to set up task forces for each of these execution priorities. 
and these task forces will have the relevant MDAs there and they will be sending regular reports so we can monitor what they're doing. They will set targets for them and then they will, they will report regularly. Some of these task forces may also have representation from the private sector. Some may have representation from the states as well, like agriculture. Agriculture is done in the states. So the task force for agriculture will have representation from the states. Even within agriculture, we'll sub, sub task forces, a task force on rice, a task force on wheat, and so on. So we'll have, so that's the third element, the task forces. The fourth element is engagement with the private sector. We want to borrow from the successes that we had, we've had in cement. To look at each of these sectors, look at sugar, uh, look at uh, the food processing, uh, look at tomato, uh, and so on. Break them up into sectors. And then led by the Minister of Investment, there will be engagement sector by sector with each of the sector participants. We will find out what exactly do they need, what is the bottleneck, what is holding up investment, what incentives do we need to give. Do we need to give additional tax incentives? What exactly is the, the, the problem of that particular sector? And we identify the problem of that sector and we work with the sector participants because ultimately this change that we're asking for is, not, is going to be a change led by the private sector. It is the private sector that is going to grow our own food. It is the private sector that is going to process. It is the private sector that is going to turn us from a consuming nation to a producing nation, which is the ultimate thing we want to achieve. So we're going to engage closely with the private sector, you know, to establish exactly, you know, what the needs are, what the requirements are, what does government need to do. Government's role is to provide the enabling environment, to make sure that we remove the bottlenecks and to uh, get the enterprise of our people, to stimulate and unleash the energies and enterprise of our people. So that, those are the processes that we intend to uh, work on in implementing this plan. Uh, Honorable Minister, this is a very big task before you, and, and moving forward, uh, it looks like you're wearing a bigger hat, not just being a federal a minister of the federal cabinet, you're technically the coordinating minister of the economy, if I may put it that way, or the coordinating minister of the NERGP, because you are now you're straddling the entire federal and street and local government structure of the economy. So, very quick question. Uh, how prepared is your ministry, your staff, and the various parastators, uh, well, maybe one or two, on the U, uh, in terms of these are the guys that will be on the field working with the other ministries and, and NDA, MDAs? Uh, let me correct something there. Uh, the the uh, authority and the person in charge of the economic management team who coordinates is His Excellency the Vice President. So it is His Excellency the Vice President that is the chairman of the National Economic Council. He also heads the economic management team and so he is responsible for coordination. Uh, we all as ministers report to the Vice President and the President. So that is the, the, the structure. Now with regard to my ministry, there is no doubt that I need to beef up the personnel in my ministry. There is no doubt about that. And we're looking uh, uh, carefully about how best to achieve that uh, by a mix of within the civil service itself. And I'll, I'll need additional uh, support, uh, some consulting support and so on. So we're looking at, 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 uh, at all that, you know, to really beef up uh, the capacity and capability of, of, the, of the ministry.